So there are a couple of things that we need to take note when it comes to data types. For example, a column that contains a mixture of text and numbers is not going to be classified as alphanumeric, neither is it going to be classified as a numbers data type. Once it is not pure numbers within that column, then we can never call that column a numbers column. We will rather just use text as the data type for the column. And it's very simple. A number is something that goes between 0 and 9. If you have anything that contains something outside of 0 or something outside of the range of 0 and 9, then we are not going to consider that to be a number, right? Neither are we going to have a data type called alphanumeric. It is either pure numbers or we classify it as text. Now, the other area you also need to take note of are some kind of numbers that I like to call untrue numbers. So, for example, when you have something like a serial number, for example, yes, it is serial numbers and, it's, and you can see numbers within the column. But the point is, as far as data analysis is concerned, we are never going to use this, these numbers to do any serial summarization. That means we won't be adding up the serial numbers one by one right so thinking about it these numbers are only here to identify something so they are not there in their true state of numbers for measurement rather they are there as numbers to identify something so when you check through the data sets you will also see that when you scroll to the right hand side you will find a column here for postal code now you know what postal code are they are used to identify addresses right so a number like postal code will also not be regarded as pure numbers rather we should just refer to it as text there's no harm in leaving it as numbers but i think it's better for us to have it as text thinking about other types of numbers that fall into these categories when you have something like account numbers or when you have something like phone numbers or anything basically that is called code or that is called id Regardless of whether they do contain numbers or not, try as much as possible to classify those things as text. So I'm going to change each one of these ones that we have identified to text from numbers. And we'll have a couple of places to do that. From our home tab here, that same button we identified for checking what data type it is, we can click on the drop down for that button and choose what the correct data type that we want to apply is. So I can come here now and select text. Another way I can do the same thing is to go to the transform tab and I'm going to see that same button here for data type. In case you are wondering, why do I have a button on transform and still have the same button on home tab? The home tab basically contains some of the most used transformation buttons that you will have you just have them on home majority of the buttons you see on this home tab you will eventually find them in some other tabs like the transform tab or the add column tab as well so i'm going to go back to the home tab so i've shown you two ways to change the data type from the home data type button right here or from transform data type button right here Another way to do the same thing and to actually do transformations on data columns is to right click on the header of the particular column. So I can also right click on the header of this postal code column now. And then I'm going to see an option for change type. And one of the options I have there is to change to any of these data types. In this case, I want to change it to text. The final option is the one I'm going to make use of. So if I click on the postal code column, you will see that right on the left hand side of every single column header, you could have seen some icons. Those icons are supposed to give you a clue as to the type of data that you have in the column. So this postal code column, for example, has an icon for one, two, three. The state column has an icon for A, B, C. That's to tell you that this is a text column. This is a numbers column. If I scroll to the extreme right hand side, where I have something like discount, you can see it shows 1.2. I probably want to make this discount to be in percentages or not, but we're just going to leave it like this, right? So if I scroll all the way to the left hand side to look for a date column like ship date, you will see that that one has an icon that looks like a calendar. So that's another way for you to identify the data type without having to go into the power query ribbon all right 
and that's also one of the places where you can change a data type so if i go back to the postal code column i can click on that same one two three and i'm going to use that to select text for this column of course it's going to try to warn me that do i want to add this at a new transformation step or do i just want to replace the previous one that was applied so i'll simply go with replace current and that converts this postal code to text when i scroll all the way to the left hand side i also want to convert the row id to text as a matter of fact i don't think i really need to use the row id for any analysis so what i'm going to do here is to remove this column so if i go to the home tab i need to start looking for a button that i can use to remove something remember that power query has up to 360 transformations that you can perform so if i keep checking and checking and checking i will eventually find this button for remove column and as long as i have the column i want to remove selected i can click on that button and the column is going to disappear another column i would also like to remove is the country column this country column basically if i click on the drop down and i click on load more for me to see the values that we have in this column you will see that this column has united states all the way therefore the entire data state is for united states then it makes no sense for me to have a column that just tells me that this data set is united states and i just have united states all the way down right so i'm also going to remove this column as well another way for you to do transformations without having to click on any of the buttons here like we have seen for changing data types is instead of clicking on the button for removing columns i can also just do a right click on the particular column and i'm going to select remove so now that i feel like i have applied all the necessary little little transformations that i need to do for this data set then i'm ready to load it into power bi i just have to go back to the home tab and i'm going to see the button for close and apply so if i click on the button for close and apply or if i click on the drop down i will see different options the one i want to use now is to close and apply when you use apply only it simply means that you are not ready to close and when you use close it means you want to close your query but you are not going to load your data so i'm going to use close and apply once your data gets loaded you probably won't see anything but if you come to check on the right hand side you are going to see that you now have something under your fields panel 